Hello guys today we have an episode about the Hummer X2 that we are building for off-road. Let me remind you what this project is. We installed Mercedes Unimog portal axles, which we have improved a lot. Also wheels, power bumpers, roof rack, all this you can see in past episodes. And we will start this series with the installation of a winch in the front bumper, winch model 15,000, and I am sure that it will cope with such a car easily. Now we will work with bumpers. In past episodes, you could see how we built them. Let me remind you that the thickness of the metal is 4 millimeters. Why so fat? Because the car is big and heavy. In the previous episodes, we built them but did not remove the welds, and now we will deal with it. So why not take care of yourself? The client asked to install frames for numbers with the possibility of a coup. On the one side, there is a number, and on the other, some kind of inscription, off-road, jeeps monsters, or simply, let me crush you. And now we will be engaged in the manufacture of power thresholds. The client provided us with photos of the thresholds that he wants, and we must repeat them. These are the power steps we got. Or in other words, thresholds. The factory foot pegs have two tubes and are very low. They are not suitable for off-road. If the car leans a little to the side, then you are already touching the road with them. In our case, they are high and the lowest point is the rama. Write your comments about these thresholds. And now we're going to look at the long-awaited package, these are wheels and tires bogger, 44 19.5 or 20. And here are our caps for discs. Let me remind you that we made them to order. The client chose a design and we completely repeated it. Why order? Because the required parameters are, the width is 12 inches for our huge bogger. And a positive takeaway, these discs are not for sale, and for this we turn to the company that manufactures them. The load on each disc is 1.2 tons. 
In off-road they will withstand everything without any problems, this has already been proven. I showed you everything, now we will go to a tire fitting, we will put everything together, and we will install it on the car. Well, now we will do what has delayed the project for so long. Finally, we have built the wheels that we have been waiting for. We install them on the front axle, take away the springs and start dragging the front axle, in order to check the articulation of the suspension. And at the same time, whether something rests somewhere. And only then will we be able to finish the front bumper, arches, and maybe cut something, etc. We pulled our front axle and already found the problem. Cushion mount which is between the body and the frame. It needs to be cut and dragged forward a little, thank God that this can be done without any problems. We have eliminated all problems with the front axle, but we will have a more accurate check on the street, we will drive into a large obstacle. We will do the same with the rear axle. But I already see that it is necessary to cut the arches and modify the bumper, since it is made for 42 wheels. In general, we figured out the front and rear axles. In our garage conditions, we checked everything we could. We cut it a little and everything seems to be fine, now we want to go for a mini test. We will put three cargo wheels and we will drive on them with each wheel and see if we succeeded or not.
We've climbed the barrier and so far so good. Now we turn the steering wheel left and right and see if something is touching the front wheels, and then we check the rear. If everything is good, then it is a success. We drove out the back and all is well. The gaps from the arch to the bumper are perfect, we checked everything in the hangar correctly. And immediately with such a load, we checked the front left wheel, twisted it in both directions and everything is fine. The wheel does not catch anything and the gaps are very large. Yeah. We left the front right wheel and what did we see, everything worked out well again. Nowhere catches good space everywhere. The only thing is fiberglass arches that will have to be cut so that nothing rests 100%. Although now there is a gap, but it is better to play it safe. And now we can finish the bumpers, because we did not finish them near the wheel, because we knew that the client would order larger wheels. Let me remind you that initially there were wheels 42, and now here the 44th size, and now we can safely go to finish the bumpers. Our brakes turned out to be excellent, let me remind you that in front of each wheel there are two calipers from a gazelle. On the rear axle, one is installed on each wheel. Someone wrote to me that the brakes would be shit, but it turned out that they are excellent. Even the brakes from the Gazelle are better than even from the Gelenvagen. We installed brakes from the G500 Gelenvagen on the same Gelenvagen and the brake is worse than from a Gazelle on the same car. I showed you and told you what we did in this episode with our Hummer. What are our plans? We have to finish the bumpers and imino near the wheels. Front and back. Then we need to make a lattice which is not here. The original grill will not fit here as it is a different bumper. And there you need access to the winch. It will be made of metal, we have already come up with a design with the client, as well as stainless steel bolts, because we will have stainless bolts here and a little chrome here, something remains on top. And who attentive could see that we installed an arc on the front grille, this was not the case in the last episode. This is the original arc from this hammer, the only thing that we have finalized the fasteners so that it would be installed here. In the future, we will install branch cutters, if someone does not know, these are cables that bend branches in the other direction from the windshield. We will also have a trunk for expeditions. Everything will be based on photographs. We plan to build it from stainless steel because there are a lot of pipes and if water gets inside, well, inside you yourself understand that it is impossible to apply soil, accordingly rusty water can flow throughout the car, this is unacceptable, it will all be made of stainless steel. Well, I will end the video on this, and you must write any comment, because it helps to promote this video. Bye everyone.